here is uh, Glenn Beck and that lunatic Alan West. Do people remember that, dude? And that sane guy, Glenn Beck. Yep. <laughs> um, here they, they're making a vow. We're not going to be as bad as the progressives. So, Alan, uh, let, me, let me ask you a difficult question. Say all of these things fail, and on the 20th of January, or whatever it is, uh, the uh, Joe Biden is sworn in, and uh, that's just the ruling of the the you know courts and the system and the and the legislatures and all of that. The voters. What is it going to take to the get voters. people to uh, come back into the fold and uh, and not split apart? <laughs> Well, I think when you just said the ruling of the courts, first and foremost, the courts need to hear the people. And if the courts refuse to, to hear the people, then you're going to have an issue come uh, January the 20th. And we cannot live in a country where every single time there is a Republican that is elected, George W. Bush, he's illegitimate. When Donald Trump is elected, he's illegitimate. Let's resist him. When Amy Coney Barrett is uh, brought onto the Supreme Court by constitutional process, she's illegitimate. Frank Kavanaugh is illegitimate. We cannot have progressive socialists that believe that they can rule by absolutism and totalitarianism and everything that doesn't agree with them is illegitimate. So I think that the first and foremost, the American people need to go by the uh, electoral process, the ballot process. But if you start to have uh, mandates, edicts, orders, and decrees that are handed down, such as red flag laws, such as uh, mm -hmm. mandatory uh, gun buybacks, you know, these things, I believe that the, the American people have a right to say no. Thank you very much, Lieutenant Colonel Allen West. Thanks for your stand and your time this morning. Appreciate it. Um, just a reminder, George Bush became president because the Supreme Court intervened in a way that no legal expert would have ever predicted that they would over uh, miscounts in uh, Florida in a place where Patrick Buchanan got tens of thousands of votes from older Jewish residents. I will remind you that Patrick Buchanan, uh, I don't know if he's ever said it publicly, but my understanding is not a big Jew guy. Um, and, uh, and, and so the, I mean, put aside the, the entire Brooks brothers riot and the shutting down of the counting and all that, just like, it's quite clear that he won in Florida because of a ballot that was constructed poorly. Now them are the breaks, I guess, but, uh, all those things added to his, uh, delegitimacy, uh, Donald Trump. Lost the election. Lost the, the election in terms of numbers. I mean, he won the Electoral College. Uh, oh, oh, you're talking oh, about. Uh, his, first, his first time around. And had uh, Supreme Court picks because of an unprecedented move by the, the Republicans in the, in, the, uh, in the Senate. So um, it's not just like socialist progressives or progressive socialists or whatever he's calling um, half the country. Um, I'm, uh, I'm curious, though, why do all conservative pundits use that panning shot? Ben Shapiro the tracking Johnson? shot. Oh, the tracking one. That, yeah, they all they hire like, those people. It's like they need. Movement. We're like doing a showbiz. Right. We're in show business. Gosh, Get the dolly out. We're in show business. I want to see a jib on this set. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't, doesn't Glenn Beck, didn't he own their studios, the first studios? So that's probably why I like some of them rent the same studios from him. Oh, that could be it. The but, weirder yeah. shot was the plumber shot that they did for about 30 seconds at the end of his answer there, where it was just that? behind Glenn Beck for like yeah. Yeah. Well, no, Shapiro 20 seconds. Do. I think Alec Jones does a little bit. Yeah, what is that? That it's looks like, like 40 this. seconds of just behind Glenn Beck. That's serious yeah. XM though. I think it might be like No, he's in Texas. No. He's got his own like underground bunker studio. It's like they need to distract their audience from their words by moving things around so you don't think too hard about what we're saying. Well, it also looks more professional and it gives yeah. them sort of like a like a, a credibility. I mean, people react to that visual vernacular, you know? Uh, I don't know if the panning shot looks more credible, but... I don't know. People, you know, when the uh, static... If you could choose, would you want a panning shot of you? Me? Yeah. I'm sitting here in front of like a European pharmacy backdrop, essentially just talking into a microphone, like static. No, I mean, 
No, I, I want, I, yeah, I, I, my, my sensibility is a little bit more static locked off. <laughs> it's basically just what cable news is. It's like when you go to Fox or whatever these places, they all have the, the Fox in particular has like 9,000 lights and cameras coming at you from every angle. It's just, you know, they're all trying to be, they're all trying to be in the uh, mimic cable news. That's it. You know, and and also, there's like these, um, you know, uh, Glenn Beck famously created an entire studio that looked just like the, the, the Oval Office because he, they all, and there's this, there's such a theme of like intrigue and I'm in a spy movie and I'm a hero and it all Friendship. sort of like, yeah, it all sort of dovetails with like, you know, sort of like their gun fantasies about how 